Okay guys, got a nice couple of simple ones for you today. No prizes for guessing what it is. We're going to look at the testimonial and review carousal elements within Elementor Pro. Now you do have the basic testimonial widget. So if we search for testimonial, that's this one up here. But what happens uh, as standard, if we drag that on into the page, you just have the one of them. If you wanted to have them side by side, then you'd need to sort of set up different columns like this, and you'd then have to drag it in. And long story short, you can't scroll through them or have them auto playing. So that is what we're going to be looking at today. So testimonials. Under the pro section, you'll have the testimonial carousal. So click and drag that on. And then by default, we get something like this. But you'll see that we've got uh, several slides that have appeared over on the left hand side now. And it switches between them just like that. So what we can do, first of all, is just down here underneath the slides per view and slides to scroll. I'm going to change this to three. And you'll see that we then get them uh, side by side like this. And then you've got slides to scroll. So if we leave this on, let's say, three, because I've just put three in the row, then when it changes and it slides over like that, it switches all three of them at the same time. Whereas if I switch it over just to one, then when it changes in a moment, you'll see that it's just going to switch one at a time. Um, it's a little bit difficult as they all say the same thing at the moment, I know. But as we click along, you see it just goes along one at a time. It's not flicking through all of them. So let's make them look a little bit different. What you want to do is come under the slide section, click into one of them. This is where your content goes. So let's have, oh my God, this is like so amazing. I don't speak like that, honestly. <laughs> uh, and I very much doubt a CEO would either, but let's just go with it and choose an image. This one will do. Uh, better make that say Jane Doe. So you've got your image here, and then you've obviously got the content, which is the testimonial, which you've been emailed by a customer or maybe on social media, something like that. So you can do that with each of them, slide two, slide three, and you can, of course, add in items like this, delete them with a cross, and of course, you can duplicate them like this with the little copy button. So I can duplicate her three times. We can get rid of the other ones. So now that we've done that, what you can do is change the skin format. So this is default and it's quite nice, but if we change it to bubble, it gives it an almost uh, sort of text SMS look to it. And then here under layout, you can change where the image is. So for example, if we put the image above, I do like the fact that the little pointer then sticks up towards the image. That's quite cool. And of course you can change that over to default. It stays above, you just don't have the little surrounding there and then you can put it over on the left or wherever you want it. So play around with that. I'll just leave it in line for the moment. You can, of course, align all of them over to one of the sides, but again, we'll leave it in the center. And then lastly, you can change the width as well. So we can bring these in. I will leave it on default for us. Then you have the advanced options. So you can choose whether or not you want these little arrows to be showing so people can Click left and right. I like them, so I'll leave them on. You can also choose whether you want these to be dots or something different. I will leave them on dots, but I will change the transition duration, okay? If you've watched the other videos, you'll know that this is in milliseconds and 500 milliseconds is half a second. That is why this is switching so quickly. So let's change that up to maybe a second. And that's gonna make that uh, duration just a little bit slower and easier on the eyes. And then you've got autoplay, so nobody has to click it, it just does it by itself. Autoplay speed every five seconds, that's fine. Infinite loop, so it never stops. What I would do is recommend leaving on the pause on hover or interaction, okay? If somebody hovers over it, that stops it from sliding onto the next one, because of course, if somebody's reading it, you don't want it to disappear before they've had the chance to finish. Then down here, you'll notice we've got image size. So this is the little photo we've got here, and it's currently on full. You do not want that, okay? It's obviously very small on the page. It's silly to have a full-sized image, so I'm gonna drop that down to medium. That's gonna make uh, the website load quicker for you. And then what you can do up here underneath the style tab, we can always go down to the image. We can then find the image size and we can bring it up. And obviously, if you take it up really, really big like this, and you think, actually, I don't like the quality now of the image, you can go back to content and then you can come down to additional options and you could obviously change the image size and that way improve the quality. But I do not want it to be that big. So let's just bring it back down again 
to around there, that'll do. You can then change the gap here between the picture and the titles, and you can also change the border radius, but I want to leave it as a circle. If you want to change it into a square, bring it along and you can do that. Then if we come back up under the slide section, this is where we can actually change the space between the slides themselves. You can also change the background color, so we could change it over to red, and it does this, or any color that you want. Border size, let's add in a border, maybe around seven pixels. You can then change that border radius, curve it up at the corners, and you can also, of course, change the border color. So we can change it over to blue, and it looks like this. The padding, that will change where the content is inside our little rectangles at the moment. So if I unlinked this, for example, and gave it uh, 20 padding to the right, it's going to move it over. But I don't want that, so we'll leave it back as it was. What we can then do, I'll also get rid of this background color because I don't like that. So let's leave it like that for the moment. And then what we can do is come down to content, and this is where you can style all of this up. So again, you've got your text color. If we wanted to change that, we can. And you can change the typography as well. So you can increase the size of this, and you can also make it bold and do all the normal things that we've been over lots of times before. So I won't bore you with it now. But you can do that for the name. You can do it for the title, uh, which is the CEO section just here. You can do that for all of it. Uh, and you can also change the navigation arrows so we can increase the size of those. We can change the color of them, make them dark gray. That way they're going to be easier to be seen. And you can also change the pagination, bleh, pagination circles, easy for me to say, uh, as well. So we can change the size of those. And again, you guessed it, we can change the color. So play around with that, really nice and simple one. And exactly the same goes for our next widget. So if we come back over to the widget dashboard and search for reviews, star rating, that is a free one, part of the free uh, Elementor version, but reviews takes it one step further, of course. So we'll click and drag that into the page. And uh, it does a very similar thing to what we've just looked at above. So again, we've got our different slides. And once again, we can go in, choose an image. And that way we've got the person's uh, face on there. Change the name again. Changed over to Jane. And then this is where it's a little bit different. We can add in a username. So at the moment, it's showing Twitter. We've got the little Twitter icon over there. If we want, we could change that. I don't know, Facebook, whatever it is that you might want. Then you can change the handle. And then this is where you can select the rating. So for example, 4.5. And it's going to give us four and a half stars out of five, which is pretty cool. And then again, this is where you would leave the review. So put your text here. And that's what's going to appear. And then what you can do is obviously just copy that again as we did with the previous ones or add them in as necessary. Again, you've got the same uh, slides per view or slides to scroll, exactly the same as what we just looked at and exactly the same with the additional options as well. So I'll slow that down like we did the previous one. And then you can come up to style and very similar again, a few more options on this one. All of this is exactly the same. So you can change your border sizing, your spacing, your padding, etc. Uh, this is the separator. So this is the little line that we see here. So we can choose not to have that. Or of course we can choose to show it. And then you can change the color and change the thickness of it. It's completely up to you. And again, go into your text. This is where you can change uh, the color and typography of the review, title and name. And again, we can change the image size, bring that up change the gap, and change the border radius as well. So again, we can have those in squares, we can have it in circles, completely up to you. You can also add in the icon. So over here, you see that we've got it as the official color. You can customize that if you want to. We could then make it something else, let's say the red again, and that'll change it. But I'll leave it on the official color, and maybe just bring the size up a little bit as well. So we've got it over there. Rating, again, you've got the font awesome. I like this, it's my personal preference, but you can change it over to Unicode. Makes them a little bit sharper instead of being more rounded, but I prefer font awesome. You can choose to have them as an outline instead. So you'll see now we haven't got the fill. Click on that one. It's dark gray just on the edge there. Sorry, it's not very easy to see because I almost fill all of the stars up, but you get the idea. And again, you can change the size of that, change the spacing between them, uh, and obviously you can change the color as well. So you don't have to have it as gold. You can come in, change the color, choose what you want, 
uh, and also change the unmarked color as well. So instead of it being gray, you can change the unmarked color, that changes just over there. So really, really nice and simple couple here. But if you're selling stuff or you've got a service, it's great to add these in. It gives people a little bit more confidence when they are looking at buying something from you or hiring you. So I suggest adding that into your site. Uh, and just add maybe a little uh, button with a contact us form down underneath. And it, you know, it can say something like, leave us a review. And then people can just uh, type in a review. It sends it to you as a contact form. And then, of course, you can just put that onto the site. So that's what I would personally do. But... As usual, if you've got any other ideas, post them on in the comments. Love to hear them. And let me know how you get on with these couple of widgets.